welcome back to my channel. So today I'm all cozy to tell you how I keep my skin, my tips and tricks basically, to how I keep my skin hydrated, especially in the very dry, cold winter months. So for any of you guys who have dry skin out there, I really hope that this helps you. I might have filmed a video similar to this in the past, but it's always great. Like I always appreciate when people update their routines and show you like what has changed, what didn't work for them, how they've progressed and things like that. Um, with Over time your skin does change. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. It's just one button. Why don't you click it? I would love to have you guys subscribe just because I love to keep in touch with you. I love getting to know more of you. It would be so fun to expand the family here. So if you want, if you're interested in that and you love makeup and you want to have a good time, hit that button. You'll like what you see, hopefully. Um, let's get into this video. So these are my top three tips for maintaining dry skin. The first one is to have a good skincare routine. Now, whatever that may be for you, for me and I think for most people that have dry skin, it's finding a balance between drying out your skin even more and exfoliating because exfoliating is very important in like rejuvenating your skin and um, really accelerating the process of skin turnover which um, the dry skin on your face usually I'm gonna sneeze so removing that like dead layer of skin off your face can really help to rejuvenate your skin and help make it less dry because you're removing that dry skin as it builds up that being said you can't use products that are too um, that drain too much moisture from your skin, so make sure that you use very hydrating products to supplement for the exfoliating. That being said, what I um, would recommend to anybody um, in terms of your skincare routine is to incorporate hydrating products, like I just said, which would probably mean like a moisturizer that works really well for you. I absolutely love, I don't have it to show you guys right now, but I absolutely love the Origins Nitamins um, Cream. It's absolutely life-changing it's like a little brown bottle um, I'm just out of it right now but I love that stuff I love to use it in the winter as my moisturizer overnight what I do have to show you is um, face masks and these are my two favorite hydrating ones the first one is the vitamin E um, sink in moisture mask from the body shop this one is more affordable and it works really really well to just kind of like restore um, your skin and make it look more like vibrant and elastic and less like dry and dead and dull, you know? My all time favorite, and you guys know this if you've been watching my channel for a while, is the Glam Go Hydrating Thirsty Mud Treatment. Now, I know that this for a lot of people is really out there in price and is not necessarily feasible, but it's not an affordable option for you. I completely understand that. Um, I only ever get it in the gift sets that come out at Christmas time. I would definitely recommend that if you want to try out this product or if you know you love it and you want to buy it because it ends up being um, less expensive. You get more for your money. But this stuff is life-changing. If you have such dry skin that you can't make it look good ever in the winter, which is essentially me, um, this stuff will really help. When I use this, it literally looks like my skin just took like a big hydrating gulp of water and it's refreshed and ready to go. And I would really, really recommend that if you're trying to, you know, switch it up and really give your skin a boost. That is a really, really good way to do that. The next thing that I would recommend in terms of taking care of your skin, but this could go either into your skincare routine um, alongside a moisturizer or a serum, but it can also pair with your um, makeup application, and that is using an oil. Um, the top's kind of coming off this one if you're wondering why it's lopsided, that's why. Um, this is the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil. I do have, I had have, got this in a set um, a few years back when they the oils, um, it was like a Sephora favorite set where they featured four different oils and I've been slowly working through those and honestly, um, incorporating an oil will change your life if you have not already and you have really, really dry skin. I use this in two ways, um, like I started to mention. I either mix it in with my moisturizer, so I will take moisturizer in my hand and put like a few drops of this and then just like blend together and then like put it all over my face. I find that works really well for me. But another way that you can use this, if you have a foundation that you really, really like, but it's too drying to use in the winter or it's too matte or whatever it may be, like you, it's not like water-based, so it's less hydrating, 
you can mix in a few drops of oil and I was very skeptical about this I thought it would break up my foundation and make it look weird it actually makes my foundation go on my skin so much more flawlessly over dry over patches of dry skin like you would not believe the difference that this makes I originally found this trick out from Jaclyn Hill she has an entire video I think dedicated to that so you can check that out as well to kind of give you more information but I often use this trick if it's the dead of winter and I just can't make foundation work I find that that really really helps helps me. Um, but that being said, it is important to note that water and oil, I think, contradict each other. And um, if you use this with like a water-based foundation, it will not apply properly. It will kind of like act up. Like it just, it doesn't look right and it breaks apart the foundation essentially. So um, be careful what you use this with, but test it out. It can really, really help make a difference. And my last tip for dry skin and like how to make it work with makeup because um, makeup can look so ugly over dry skin, you know what I mean? It just looks very, like, rough and, like, just not... I, I just, I hate when I have dry patches and makeup just looks caked on and, like, oh, I hate that feeling and I hate that look. And so I've tried so hard to combat it. And there are days where it's just, there's nothing you can do. It's just the way that it is. But most days this will help you. Um, the, the first thing I would say is have a nourishing base, a very hydrating um, base instead of um, one of those that mattify you or um, fill your pores like that will just help like emphasize the dryness. This will help to smooth it over. My favorite one is my Too Faced Hangover Primer. Uh, I really love that one, but I decided to try this um, when I finished my hangover one, so that's why I have this one now. It's the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Nourishing Base. It works really well as well. Anything that's um, moisturizing that kind of acts as a moisturizer. You can use moisturizer before your makeup, but sometimes if the moisturizer is too heavy, makeup will apply weird over top. Um, but this basically is a moisturizer, but that has priming features, so it will sink into your skin in such a way that it will allow your makeup to sit better over top of it, and hopefully it'll make your, your makeup last longer um, without breaking apart. To go alongside the primer, I would recommend find a foundation that works for your skin type. There are foundations you might love in the summer or fall or spring and that just don't work for you in the winter because your skin gets that much drier. Now it took me a long time to figure this out that not every foundation will work for everyone and not every foundation will work for everyone at different points um, in time, you know? So for me, um, I have drugstore foundations that I absolutely love and they just don't work for me in the winter. But I found one last year that really, really works for me. And again, this will depend on your skin type. It depends on what kind of dryness you have, where it is, all that kind of thing. But I have found generally that water-based foundations really, really um, smooth over dry patches much more easily than anything else. Um, they have more of a radiance to them. They will not make your skin look drier than it is, which a lot of foundations do. They dull it down and this will not do that. It will let your skin shine through, but also providing you um, with some coverage and, you know, like the imperfections won't show as much. And what I love about this one specifically, it's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation, is that it is a water-based foundation, so it completely goes over my dry skin for the most part um, and makes it look so much more flawless. I usually use this with a beauty blender because I find if I use a brush, that's another tip kind of thrown in here, is that if you use a brush with the foundation, it will cling on and pull on your dry patches a lot more than if you use a sponge. So I would definitely recommend using a damp sponge. But um, this goes over my skin really, really well, even dry patches. Um, but what I love so much about this one is that it's very, very, like you can build the coverage. Like you can get a pretty medium to full coverage with this if you want, even though it's water-based. And not all water-based foundations will have that feature. A lot of them will be more like a light coverage. Um, sometimes you can still get a good, decent coverage, but in order to not like cake your face, it's going to be a lighter coverage foundation. And so um, a lot of water-based foundations will have that property instead. But for some reason, Tarte knocked it out of the water with this one and has found a way to combine the two. You can get coverage while getting the moisture. It has a lot of radiant properties and so this one I would definitely recommend if you've dry skin and you haven't found a foundation that works. That was me for the longest time until I found this. So that is it you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed hearing my top three tips for those of you that have dry skin and how to you know better manage it in the winter as well as how to apply makeup in a way that doesn't accentuate it. I really hope this video helped you guys because I know that for me personally Kathleen Lights has helped me a lot because she has very dry skin so a lot of her product recommendations work for me so I wanted to be able to do the, the same thing for you. I know this video 
video is not going to apply to everyone, but I hope that you stuck with me and I hope that it could help. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me to gauge like what you guys want to see next. And you can hit the subscribe button to keep in touch. I love keeping in touch with you guys and growing this channel. So thank you so much for all of your support so far. My camera battery is flashing. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Have a great week and I will see you next Friday with an all new video. Bye!